thank you so much for joining me today. I'm very excited about this piece that I'm doing. I've been experimenting with how I do swipes. So the other day I did puddles, did a swipe, which that video should be coming out within the next day or so. <clears throat> but anyway, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. But the color palette that I have chosen is really dark. Um, and I thought if I did it over a whole canvas, it'd be too much. So I did a couple of test pieces. This one, which I love that. And this one. Now I wasn't going for composition with either one of these. I was just testing the colors and the different techniques and how I swipe. This one, I laid down my white and then I swiped over the colors with black and this is what it came out to. This one, I did puddles of paint and then I swiped and then tilted it out. So, I like this one. I like them both, but I'm using this one today, this technique, these colors, on the painting that I'm doing. All right, let's get down to the canvas and I'll show you what I've done so far. Okay, so here's what I've done so far. Um, I taped this off, painted both sides border red, and then I'm gonna do my swipe in the middle here. So I've got a tape off where I put the Bordeaux red so that it doesn't go all over the place. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And just leave myself a little bit of a lip over here so that I can grab it. All right. So I've got the colors that were in that small piece that I showed you. I've got Bordeaux Red, which is the same as this. Turquoise, they love turquoise, by Golden. This is a color that I made. It is um, bronze, but then I've added some Van Dyke Brown to it. I just think it makes it a little richer, it's pretty. And then I have some Champagne Gold. Okay, I've also got several different palette knives. I've got a really big one. Um, some smaller ones just for some details. So we'll see what I'm gonna use. Um, and then I'll also have black, um, Amsterdam black, oxide black with Aussie Floetrol in it, or Australian Floetrol. Okay, so I'm just gonna start putting down some petals. And my thought was, I don't wanna do it too close to the side because it'll make paint heavy here. So do more in the middle and then I can kind of stretch it back and forth to make it predominantly stay in the middle. So we shall see. As you can see, my paints are thicker. You know what? They're quite a bit thicker. Okay, my paint seemed a little thick, so I went ahead and scraped that up and added a little bit of water to this. I'm just gonna make some petals. Now, my paints are thicker, as you can see. They're quite a bit thicker. There we go. I will say, this technique, using the petals to me, um, you use quite a bit more paint because you don't have a base coat down. So just keep that in mind if you try this. But the results are pretty. There we go, this is that champagne gold. And the turquoise. It's so funny, I did a painting, um, which I'll link in the description, and this turned out emerald green. I have no idea what happened. This is the exact paint, and I, I don't know. It was really odd. It was gorgeous, but just really odd. And I was hesitant to use this color, which is one reason I wanted to do a test piece, but it's gorgeous with it. Okay. Here we 
we go. I don't have very much of this left. Add a little. Let's see, where do I need some of this? Let me have, hang on. I only have like one more little dollar, but that is so. Okay, where do I need what? Tiny bit of Bordeaux red here. Down here. And another thing that I have, um, that I did when I was doing my test piece was to go ahead and stretch my paints out a little bit, which I don't know why it didn't occur to me the first time I tried this, but you know, you learn. A little bit of brightness over here and down here. Okay, that is all of that paint. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty. Oops, pick my stands up. You think I need to clean my stands? <laughs> They're so bad. All right. Just stretching them out a little bit. Ooh, I've got to be careful. I got really close over here. I don't want that to go over on my red. I think I'm going to start with this big one. And just take my Australian Floetrol mixture. This big one's kind of hard to cover because my container is small. And just cut the back of my palette knife. All right. Go very slowly. Pretty, pretty. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really pretty. So, whoops. I'll cut the back of my palette knife again. Another thing that I have learned doing this is if you go really fast, it stretches your lacing long ways. But if you go slow, it gives them a chance to develop. Now, that's just in my experience. I don't know if that is really has anything to do with it, but that's what I have found out. Okay, I think I'm gonna start this way and go this way now. Yeah, right here. Let's do this. Lose all that paint because I'm gonna need it, I think. <gasps> Ooh! Y'all, that's so pretty. So pretty. Okay. Maybe I'll use the smaller one. I'm gonna use the smaller one. some of this turquoise into this copper. All right, I may take some of this off. I'm a little worried about this going over. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Just in the case. I'm gonna put another line of tape. I'm just really worried that I've got it too close to the edge. So, that just makes me feel better. <laughs> I'm just coat the back of my palette knife again.
Oh yeah, definitely needed the brightness. Pretty, 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 okay. Too much one color. So I'm going to. Just do a little bit. And bring that on down. There we go. That's better. You don't have to do just complete swipes. You can do it however you want. Okay, I think one other thing I'm going to do is add a little bit, I'm gonna add a little bit of champagne in here. Cause this whole area is very dark. And this will just brighten it up some. I mean, I'm in the bare bones of my, <laughs> my color. But I think it'll, it'll just brighten it up some. And do one more swipe and then we're gonna tilt. Didn't mean to stop so abruptly, but it just, that's okay. Okay, here we go. Stretch back and forth. I, gotta, I do have to go over to the sides. I mean, I've got to cover all that. So let's stretch it just a little bit back and forth. Oh. I love, love the Bordeaux red on that teal. Okay. Oh. And back. All right. I'm going to add some color around here. I just want to make sure that it does spread well. Um, just a little bit. it's not wanting to move, which I don't like dry canvases. You can tell I'm already going, I mean, I'm, I'm using the teal because I've already got a lot of the Bordeaux red. Red, <laughs> sorry. Uh, spread that out just a little bit. Just to make sure that it flows. You know what? Did y'all see what I did? Ah! All right, there we go. Woo! Saved. I may have to go back over it again, but that's okay. <laughs> At least I'll save my pace. I know better than to drag something over my canvas. All right, we're gonna come this way. This is being stubborn. Oh, I don't want to lose all that. 
Okay, I don't want to lose all this, so I'm going to stretch it back this way now. And turn this. Oh, I'm having the hardest time because of my tape. Okay. Hope you can see it. It is moving. It's just moving slow, and I'm so glad I added that extra piece of tape. I had a feeling I was going to need it. Now we come to this corner. This corner is not wanting to move very well. Come on, paint, move. Help me out here. Help me out. There it goes. I'm gonna have to pull it back because it's really overstretching up here. A little more. One, two. All right, there we go. Better, better, better. Oh, it's so pretty. Turn it back around. It's pretty. Got some color down here. This overstretched just a little bit, but I don't know. That's gorgeous. Got some air bubbles in there. Ugh. It is gorgeous. So glad I added some extra champagne gold here. It needed it because it's it. They're dark colors and they're gonna dry even darker. So all of this champagne gold is beautiful. Real pretty mixed here with the bronze. Okay. Do I dare take the tape off now? That is the question. <laughs> or do I wait? Huh. I didn't think that part through, did I? Let me think. I love it, though. I love it. i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for just a little bit. And then if I decide to take the tape off, I will come back and film it. Okay, I said if I decided to take the tape off before it dries, I'd show it. I'll let it set for just a minute. Hopefully it won't shift and move, but here we go. Let's see if I can't get both these at the same time. Please work. <laughs> and again, if it does, I can Come back and do some cleanup work. Oop. Step. Uh oh. Get that down. <laughs> go. Yay! Ah, oh, pretty. Okay, I think I'm going to start on this side and pull it towards me. It was a little hard going the other way. So, let's hope it's successful. The other one. I'm gonna have to clean this up where I drag my blue over it, so I'm gonna have to repaint this, but that's okay. Love it. I will bring you down for some details. It is so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love all the cell, I mean, all the uh, lacing. So gorgeous. That's really pretty. All the colors. 
Now it is gonna dry darker. So I'm glad I've got quite a bit of that champagne gold. That's beautiful. Look at that bronze right there. It's so pretty. Yeah, thrill, thrill. Okay, I will show you the dried results. Okay, here are the dried results. I love it, I'm so thrilled. I went over the Bordeaux red a second time, but I think it's beautiful. So you can see that there's gonna be shimmer. I absolutely love the colors. The lacing is pretty. And I believe had I done just the center part all over the canvas, it'd have been way too much. But this is just such a strong piece. And I love the way there's the champagne gold at the top, in the middle, and at the bottom. It just gives a great balance. But it's really pretty. Yeah, I'm in love with this piece. This gorgeous lacing. Even in the deep, dark color right there, you can see that there's lacing. And that almost looks like bright orange. Now, farther away, it doesn't. But right up close, it does. And that's just beautiful. Yeah, I love the overall piece. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave them down below. I do answer all comments. So, until next video. You have a great day. Bye.